Hi, this is Sam Botstein from MachineSkills.com. Today I would like to talk a little bit about Swing. I've been hearing a lot about Swing lately. Some people claim that it's the secret to the success of certain producers. Some claim that certain NPCs had special properties to their Swing. And today I would like to show that Machine is just as powerful, if not more powerful, when it comes to Swing. Machine has global Swing settings that affect the entire project up here by the transport controls. These are doubled down here in the master section, in the channel settings, in the groove section. However, Machine also has individual controls for all of the groups and individual sounds. By default, these will be set to zero for the amount, one eighth for the cycle, and will not be inverted. What this means is that Every eighth note will be delayed some amount that's set by the user. So let's hear that on the hi-hats right now. Let's talk about exactly what's happening here. I've set up these kicks and snare to show that we can achieve polyrhythms with different swing settings. With the swing off, they sound like this. You can see that when the playhead reaches the beginning of notes, they sound immediately. When I turn up the amount on the kick swing, you can see the playhead reach the beginning of the note, and then the note will play much later. So what I've discovered is that at 100% we get this dotted quarter note rhythm. This second note should sound exactly with the fourth hi-hat note here. Now this isn't exactly useful in and of itself. You could just write you know, an eighth note and not use the swing. However, something else happens when you set it to 75%. Now we should have a triplet rhythm. To hear this just a little bit better, I've set up some hi-hats. Now, at first, controlling groove this kind of way didn't really appeal to me. It just seems imprecise, but knowing these two values, 75 and 100, really sort of opened my mind to using swing settings in my production. We actually use this all the time in traditional notation. We'll write straight eighth notes and then swing them. We think of them exactly where they're written on the page, but play them later. The same goes for step sequencing. We can, we can add these notes in with a step sequencer and then control them with the swing amount. Turning on invert up here should cause these sounds to play before they're displayed on the screen. They play exactly the same amount before that they did after with invert turned off. This means that they should line up with this second closed hi-hat here. The same goes for the dotted rhythm that we had before at 100%. I find that these amount settings at 100% and 75% really inform the way that I use swing, and are especially useful for production situations where I'd like much more complicated rhythm than I've actually input into the step sequencer. For live performance, though, the group and master settings can be very useful. For example, if you have a drum kit that is not fitting with what somebody else on stage is doing, maybe an MC is having trouble following your beat, adjusting the groove setting can really, really help. A lot of people who perform live with Machine like to mix groups in and out, sort of like they're DJing with their groups. Beat matching really isn't an issue in Machine, as all of the groups will sync to this master clock up here. However, 
the swing settings can really make them clash. And if you're willing to move around the swing on your groups, it will make a much, much more even transition. Finally, adjusting swing settings on groups or sounds that have been quantized can really help breathe life back into them. I'll be talking about quantization next week, and we'll be posting two or three tutorials at least on this channel every single week, so make sure to subscribe to ADSR Tutorials on YouTube.